yeah, that we, yeah, we wanted to do that right here, and we changed it, but yeah, yeah, definitely. right there. Oh, hey guys. Hey, are we doing a live? Oh, right? hey y'all. Hey y'all. Sarah, I know you didn't, didn't notice, but in. we've been setting up these cameras for like 20 minutes right in front of you. Hey y'all, come it's on in. Come on in. Let me change my shoes. We need new material. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's solid gold, but it is an old shoe. Yes. Welcome to my neighborhood. I'm a, today I'm a Southern Belle. <laughs> Um, today I'm gonna do a vintage little baby chick coming out of an egg because the Billy doesn't matter. It's yellow. If it's gonna be yellow, duck, be baby ducks are yellow too. I feel like baby ducks have longer faces. These are black. Like this is not a black. Just that one <laughs> ugly duckling. Ugly duckling. Yeah. This is a little Easter a chick one. coming out of its egg. It's fertilized egg. <laughs> yeah. Because we figured out that eggs don't hatch unless they're fertilized. It's true, okay. but they are delicious either way. You gotta have a rooster, rooster. So anyway, I found this image while I was doing uh, looking for vintage Easter art. Thank you, Elton John. Elton John. I was thinking. I always thought you reminded me. The glasses. <laughs> There's nobody here today. It's, it's like it's a Friday, but it's not. It's a Thursday. Don't remind me. I'm gonna start with the egg because it is behind my grass and my flowers, like I always say. You gonna learn. <laughs> anyway. This project reminds me of that thing that is in Asian cuisine. You know, come out with the rotten egg, with yeah. the embryo inside of That's what this reminds you of? Yeah. Billy, you're sick. Billy's sick, y'all. I still haven't determined if I was Peking trying. duck? I don't think it's called Peking duck. I think okay. it's, it's, a, it's where they pickle yeah. the egg with the little baby bird inside yeah, of it. Yeah, gross, man. <laughs> Billy. I'm going to have to have you calm it down and watch. Have you not seen that? No. And it's actually very mainstream. Because yeah, they are live. I just want to put it <laughs> Because uh, the grass, hold, hold up, I'm teaching the class here. Because the grass has all these little points, it would be better to paint your egg color over your grass, whether you do a painted egg or a colored egg, because um, Otherwise, you're going to have these little brush strokes trying to get in these little points, and that's pointless. It creates, oh. <laughs> it cre it creates, it creates for a messier egg. Um, if you just have a million little brush strokes, it would be better to base coat your work than to try and get in and out of all the little nooks and crannies. And I think you see Scarlet do that a lot, too. And it's just a good plan, actually. I'm not going to even try to learn yeah, that. she does not get very careful around it. It's just, she knows she's coming back with the overlay. Yeah. With the paint over. I need a color. What color is your egg going to be? Could you, could you get me a color? Good morning, Nan. Vintage duck egg. Show. Where's that? Yeah. It's up there. Green. It's a green one, right? It's, it's like a blue green. green. Yeah. Um. So this. Probably on that. You said this is considered a vintage. Where did you get this idea from? Well, I was googling vintage Easter art and postcards, Easter art and Easter postcards, vintage postcards, to yeah. get these uh, little shapes from, and then I simplify them down. Did you find it, yeah. everybody? This is BJ. Hey, in case yeah, you don't get to see behind it. Oh, look, two of them. I'm not going to use that stomach. much, but I will. His shrinking stomach. He does not want to try to eat waffles this morning. No, I didn't. You made him eat waffles? No, Where did y'all go? Y'all didn't I invite me. You weren't up at 5 o'clock this morning. I wasn't. You're right. <sighs> I it was still snoring. He got. He changed his order, actually, which was a... That was crazy move. <laughs> he had ordered an omelet and he stopped the woman in her tracks and was like, Hey, hey, I want a waffle. I need a waffle. <laughs> Got no self control this morning. Just couldn't get over it. 
I waffles been called my name for a long time now. I had cheesy grits and then yeah, I ate some popcorn waffle. a minute ago. The dill popcorn is so good, y'all. If you ow, if you like a good salty dill flavor, so good. Oh, and speaking of which, what is going on with dill popcorn? We have a sale uh, starting today. Yeah, search that. Today? Sunday, yes. Oh, is that right? There's a free bag coming. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. Mm. Get with it. I don't know Give them the right about. information. S'mores flavors now available. So yesterday we were talking about plants. Scarlett went home and found her hostas were coming up. She sent me pictures. So I've got to get out there today and look at mine. Okay, so I put a base coat of fluff on this egg. Now I'm going to blend the fluff into some vintage duck egg and some Savannah mint to give it a really like blue, bluey color. One of them was kind of dry, but I think you could shake it back. Shake it back. Tomorrow through Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> you know, tomorrow, I do. Tomorrow through on Sunday. On camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> BJ's not resident sniffer. Tomorrow through Sunday, free bag of kettle corn with every purchase of at least one bag and looks like one bag. Buy one, get one. It's BOGO. Yeah. yeah. Limit you know, answer. speaking of BOGO, Easter just hasn't been the same since Palo shut down. Um, you know, I, what's the, what was the deal with Palo? I don't know, but yeah, Easter just the, hasn't recovered. Some of the shoe place? Yeah. That was like the Easter shoe place. I guess I never realized they were gone. Now that you say it. Easter never recovers from Taylor's shit. For every place that dies like that, there is a similar but lesser store that takes its place. It's probably going to be Shoe Carnival or something else. Yeah. Maybe not Shoe Carnival. Taylor's was where you went to buy your Easter shoes. It was like a yearly tradition. Yeah, I think it's only $3. <laughs> well, you get some three dollars. You get your white shoes. For Easter. Yeah, you wear them once. You've been wearing black all, all winter. Now it's time to get white shoes. Okay, I can't. I gotta do some scraping on this. Isn't that right, Randall? Absolutely. You agree with me? Easter hasn't know. been the same since Payless shut down. Oh, I have not considered Payless to be involved in anything contributing to Easter. Well, think about it for a minute. Well, everybody's gotta have church shoes. I don't know. Right. And then Payless went out of business. Yeah. And, uh, and Easter didn't recover. Your duck boots? Mm -hmm. Are they made out of ducks? Uh, no. Why do they call them duck boots? Because L.L. Bean, that was their duck hunting boots. Okay. The water probably boots. a taller version. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And now they're just, now everybody's just shoot every day. It's your... Oh, uh, so they're hot to wear, but People, it's your wannabe boots. And it's nasty around the cabins. Very well, we got hunting boots on. Yeah. I ain't hunting since I was, I don't know how old I was. Nine. Yeah. I can't wear boots like that, like duck boots or white rain boots. I'm too short. I just wind up looking like a sausage on a stick <laughs> when I put on boots. <laughs> oh, sausage, sausage legs. Although Tara did tell me once that my ankles were my best feature. Oh yeah. Yeah, didn't you, Tara? What? My ankles are my best feature. Yeah. Apparently, I have tiny little ankles. <laughs> <laughs> my ankles are my best feature. <laughs> you work a breeze for that month and a half. I still do. <laughs> Everything gets rolled up once. Did, wow. But did you see my ankles? Uh, I got one comment. <laughs> um, that's not Scarlet. That's very observant of you. <laughs> no, it's Sarah. I'm here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And see if y'all would notice the difference. So. I'm Scarlett. I am. Uh, Sarah. We've never met her. Uh, she's going to do this Tuesdays and Thursdays. Scarlett's Monday, Wednesday, Friday on our current schedule. Yes. Okay. So I kind of gave this, this egg uh, a vintage dug egg mixed with fluff look and i also made sure to pull my my lines in an arc i went on this side this arc and on this side this arc 
that gave that's going to give it that round look that you want for an egg because it isn't flat it's round so by blending and pulling my my lines in an arc i'm creating that 3d look it's all about the stroke and i'm going to add a little bit of extra white to the top edges again pulling it in an arc because of course that's where the light's hitting it the most. Nice on the wall in the bedroom. Yes, vintage duck egg wood. It's such or a pretty color. Thing or yeah, it's a pretty color. Uh, it looks really pretty on furniture. Little side accent piece. It's like a perfect little blend of blue and green. Oh, wow. Kay said this would make a nice birth tour. Birth announcement. Yeah, cool. it would. Burson. 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 I'm also going to, if I could grab the gray, let's see it. So I'm going to add a little bit of dark, dark vintage egg without the uh, white mixed in it, just to this inside of the egg area. <clears throat> the spot, the place where you can see around. Where the baby duck is coming out just so that it's darker in there and it gives the illusion that that part of the egg is behind the other part of the egg these paintball lines on here are very uh explanatory okay and then this little area see how cute he is all right now I'm going to let that dry. I'll come back with the grass and the tulips later. I'm going to move on to the chicky. The chick. You can see that egg right there. All right. I'm going to use my daisy and terracotta and kernel mustard yellows to create his little chicken chick feature. Is he going to sleep, BJ? No, just watch. <laughs> <laughs> you got him so relaxed. He gets so relaxed on my paint. Okay, come in around this little butterfly. Like, share, comment today for a chance to win this unfinished. So I'm going to paint around the butterfly. It's quiet in the office today. It's very quiet. Casey's here. not here. Scarlett's not here. No this is daisy yellow. Okay. No kids. No kids. We got half the students gone. Where are they on kettle corn? Uh, yes. And Where are we at? This morning, McCain Mall started. In, in oh, Arkansas. Little Rock. All my Arkansas friends were at McCain Mall in North Little Rock. Right up there on McCain Boulevard, right off of I 40. <clears throat> oh, no, wait, that's not off of I 40. It's off of 167 or 67. I'm not sure. Yeah, headed towards Jacksonville <laughs> Air Force Base. I bet they get some good business on McCain Boulevard. They're out in front of the mall, I think, too. Not behind it. I used to live right down the road from there in Cabot. Cabot? Cabot. Oh. It's a good area. There's like, uh, there's there's an Air Force base. It's a huge area. Michelle said she's got to go Saturday and restock her popcorn. So yes. She must be in the area. In the area. Uh, but we're also we're in uh, Monroe right now. Also, mm -hmm. Conland Mall. We'll be there through Saturday during mall hours. We'll also be at the Alexandria Mall on Saturday uh, during their mall hours. You know, I think near the food court inside. We'll just have a single location. There. Are we inside McCain too? Yeah, yeah. We got two setups. Oh, down in the food court or up? In right the, at the upstairs. bottom of the escalator. Down in the food court, in the food court area. The, yeah, I think it's where the mouse house used to be. All right, nice. Is this for sale? If somebody wants to buy it. 
don't miss the Easter. Easter for Ken, so we're about to swap over full time to uh, spring and summer things. And yeah. It'll be nice patriotic. Uh, patriotic, yeah. Then, what comes first, Labor Day or Memorial Day? I can't ever remember. I don't know. I won't say Labor Day, but who knows? I need to figure out a way to remember that. It's important. Somebody will tell us. Yes, Labor or Memorial. And Easter is in what, two weeks? All right, once I get this base coat on, really? I, not even Memorial that. Day. Now, huh? Memorial Memorial's first. first. So, Memorial, then Labor. Easter's about a week off now, right? They don't go in alphabetical order. There's how you remember it. What did you say, BJ? I think Easter's only like a week away now, right? A week and a couple of days. Is it next weekend? I think it's next weekend, yes, right? That'll mean, okay, so this weekend I've got my grandson coming. Yes, y'all may even see him on the yeah. live tomorrow. And then I've got, uh, next weekend I'll go home to Magnolia for Easter. And then the next weekend I'll go to the cabin, go to our cabin with my dad and sister. So, and then the next weekend we'll be back in Canton. Where's the cabin at? We have a Around cabin Canada. in uh, Little River, Little River Country Club. It's uh, in Arkansas, um, close to the Arkansas and Texas and Oklahoma border, like right mm -hmm. up in there. Okay, so I got my base coat on this little chicken. Now I'm going to come back with my lights and darks and kind of blend it in. Remember, you put the darks around all the areas that would be shadow, like in his little wing, wing pits. <laughs> his wing pits. His little wing pits, his little neck, um, like behind his cheek, where his cheek would round out. So I'm going to, y'all know I like to work fast and blend fast so that it doesn't dry. I'm going to start with the body. I'm going to get all the body with a second thick coat here. I'm sitting here learning about eggs. Are you really? Yeah. This one was fertilized. Okay. Now I'm going to get my mustard yellow. I'm going to come in under his little wing wing pit. Bringing it, pulling it from the end of the feathers in. Here. Come back on this side. Pulling it in, pulling it in. I'm going to give his little tummy like a little, uh, like an arc across it with the brush strokes. So you can see his little baby fat. And then I am going to use a really dark, I'm going to use my pointy brush and use the dark part. Dark. <coughs> to go down in the cracks. Because it's dark, it's, you know, it's shaded down in there where he is in the egg. I'm going to pull that dark out of the cracks and up. So, like, he's a little shaded behind where the egg is, covering his little belly. I kind of want to put a little chip now. Super cute. Are all of Abram's chickens full grown or are they babies? What? Are Abram's chickens full grown or does she have chicks? Are y'all using the uh, the coop over there? Yeah, we have our own coop. Oh. And they're using that They have chickens too? Uh, I painted that big rooster on that coop. Oh, wow. Are they over there all the time now? Oh, yeah. Moved here full time? Okay. Dipped it in a little bit of terracotta. Oh, y'all have chickens too, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we may have 20 still. Y'all's chickens live on a Greyhound bus, don't they? Yeah. So somebody donated an old Greyhound bus to the ministry and they put chickens on it. I mean, they have an outside yard too, but like that's their, that's where they, their nest. Is it is it 
just mayhem up in there. Victoria Beatty. You know? Oh, it's my daughter. Brooks said he's ready to come help Sugar Pants. Ha ha. That's my baby. He's coming tomorrow. Sugar. I mean, Sugar. I'm not ready to be a, a Mima or a Mama. So, <laughs> you know, I'm only. Mama. Yeah, Mama. Mama. I'm not. I'm just not ready. Mama. So I decided that I'm a Sugar. <laughs> And it works for me. And, you know, I'm just not ready to be a Meemaw or whatever y'all call them. I know. I, I mean, I don't feel, I definitely don't feel like I'm in my 80s, even though I am. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of terracotta just to accent his little feathers and give it some plus look here some depth 3d dimension however you want to say it uh michelle said she goes i guess it's gg 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 yeah yes that's a good one mine is between sugar and honey so most people like being a grandma though, like oh i love being i love being his grandma he's perfect he's so i never sweet. thought like i could love a baby or there would be a more beautiful baby than mine were but here he is <laughs> okay so anyways i'm still blending in the wet paint and i'm using dark and light to create dimension he's gonna be so cute when he's done you could also use a gray in here. Let's see who has the most grandkids. We got. We're gonna have a grandkids award. Now. How many you got? One. 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 I got zero. Do thing. <laughs> BJ, how many you got? I got zero. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. How many hit? Golly, she's at nine. So she's on the way. I don't know that anybody has we grandkids huge, in here but me. We had a huge extended family. I mean, our, our grandmother's had 20, 30 grandkids, plus three grandkids and all that. Does anybody in the office have grandkids but me? Uh, Tara. Hammer. Tara does what? not have grandkids. No, I'm joking. Um, are you going to be a grandma? Hammer does. Hammer does, yeah. Like, what are they going to call you? Right? Um... Uh, James, that was, James may have to, yeah. Tony, Tony has. I think Tony may. Right? Yeah, but she's, she's 18. No, but she, I thought she was going to be a papa. Who? Papa? Right. Randall's going to be a papa. I'm just, I'm happy with sugar. Sugar pie. Okay, so I'm going to give his little cheek here. I'm going to round it out with this terracotta. Kind of just make him look like he's little, got a little baby fat on him. I'm going to go under the chin a little bit with it. And then I'm going to maybe hit the back area of the head with it a little bit. I think that she's a mom off. Mama. Kay, Kay goes by Big Mama. I like Mama. Mama is like Mama. Cajun, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. That's what we call Mama. Uh, that's what I call my grandparents. I call one. Yeah, I, call well, I had a grandma and a mom. I think it's a Louisiana thing. And then, uh, Mama. It's probably a little more country. And then when I got more conscious of it, I actually started calling my grandma. I had a <laughs> mama and a grandmother. Oh, and my grandmother was every bit of grandmother. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, she was, yeah. Absolutely. Grandmother. I always had this more cultured cousin that would come in town and she'd be like, Grandmother. Yeah. So I kind of like adopted it because I didn't want to look like a kick around her. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma. Grandmother. Now I'm actually swiping just a tiny bit of white in here. Well, like on how you shade. They wish forehead. They could do that, I believe they do. Well, I'm trying to talk you through it right. just so you can see how I do it. Years of art school to be able to <laughs> blend years. like this. I've been in art school since I was two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
she'll tell you about it. But listen, you can totally do it. The point or the thing about blending is to keep your paint wet and move in little sections because once it dries, it doesn't blend anymore. I'm actually working on a cool uh, oil painting right now and I'm about to start a couple more pets at home. I've got a, a blue heron paint class this weekend. That's going to be really fun in Monroe. We still have a few sp spots open if anybody wants to make a day trip. Now from Missouri. Yeah. The day. Blue heron is a pretty painting. What's burning? Something's burning. Okay. And when it dries, I'll go back on the very little inside of the mouth, maybe with some pink, just to give him. Oh, he's so cute, y'all. He's perfect. So let me wash this brush off. Then I'll use a little bit of pink and then I'll do my tulips on the bottom. I'll do my butterfly last. Good lord, something jumped out of that. Okay. A little bit of pink on the inside of the mouth. Switch it around here. Do my tulips on this side. I'm going to use peony and soft pink and fluff for my tulip shades. The way the tulip is, you want to go darker, closer to the leaf uh, edges, the where it's overlapping, because that front petal is on top of the side petals. So I do the pink and then I'll come back with soft pink. Was it my sheet burning? The white burn. So come back with soft pink on the middles of the petals to give it a look like it's again three dimensional. And the outsides here. Oh uh next Month in Canton, by the way. I guess it'll be this will be the first mention of it outside of this office. Uh, we are doing a filler bag giveaway. Any purchase you make at Arbor One or Arbor Two, we're going to give you a bag to go fill up with as much of our old uh, filler that we're discontinuing. It's letters, it's shapes, uh, whatever else is out there. Any purchase, we're going to give you a bag. You just go fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> And it's going to be a lot. I mean, that's probably 50, 60 letters or more. Yeah, totally. It's going to be a good deal. It's something we would we'd probably uh, maybe just charge for this $10 per gram. $10 bag. a bag, yeah. It's $5 and, a bag right now, but these the are big bags. Away, bags. It's probably yeah. two bags worth of it. So probably $20. Are we going to do the blue Walmart bags? Yep. Yeah. Until we run out. So if you want to stock up on four inch three eight letters, this will be the time to do it. <laughs> Nan said you're making it hard for me not to drive camp next time. <laughs> uh, I forget where she lives at. Where do you live at, Nan? Come on, Nan. Come see us. Not so bad. We'll help you. I encourage you. Do it, do it. <laughs> and a five hour drive is two movies and some change. <laughs> <laughs> is that how we encourage? Yeah, I just watch a couple movies like that. Six hours of three movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do the grass. Cool. going to use evergreen and I'm going to come in with limeade for highlights. I'm going to start by just coating the bottom of the grass and then I'll use a smaller brush to get up into the points. I painted my sides when I first started so I'm not really going back over those. 
What's for lunch today? I ate it this morning. <laughs> a big breakfast. Crystal chicks. Crystal chicks? You had crystal chicks. What is crystal chicks? A little chicken sandwich from the crystal. We don't have crystal, crystal burger? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where they have one of those. <laughs> Mississippi still has them. Well, they are really liking this project. So we'll start the bidding at $75. <laughs> Billy's all about selling this stuff now. Yeah. This is going to be so cute. He's going to be like Easter entrance cute, like on your buffet or, or your entrance hallway, like sitting right there. Okay, now I'm going to use a thinner brush. What do you use to seal it when you put We have to ask this a lot. Um, seal it to put it outside. Uh, what's your best? Rust-Oleum clear coat. I use a semi-gloss because the gloss will leave fingerprints. Yeah, we said polyacrylic doesn't come in cans. Polyacrylic apparently comes in cans, but it's not what I choose to use. What's the deal with um, polyurethane? Like that just polyurethane is things, yellow and it's oil based and it I mean so you would just use it to cover stained pieces. I think so. I haven't looked into mm. I really should do a little research so I can be knowledgeable about this, all these different types. You definitely use it on stain. I don't know. But it yellows over time and I hate that. I think it's a big thing uh, that it lasts. Um better than some of the but I don't I don't know either. I'll tell you what, though. I've been them. painting these door hangers now for close to eight years, uh, seven years here. And it's like <clears> I've never once had somebody come back and say, oh, my gosh, it just destroyed in the rain. or You know, like this is good wood and it's good paint and it's good clear coat we do on here. I mean, yes, they wear and tear over the years. I've replaced my sisters over the years, but not like right away. They do stand, withstand the weather under a porch on the door. Taking bets on it today. <laughs> bets. Bids. Uh, bids. Yeah, we can bet too. Hey, bids. Yeah. I'm taking bids. Anybody want this? <laughs> well, I've had a couple people say they want it. But... <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. But I really think I will educate myself on it more so that we can have an educated conversation about yeah. the differences in the clear coats. Billy. That's a good idea. What a great idea. I've got my Google pulled up already. But it's still showing me like parts of the egg. The outside's called a cuticle, by the way. Do you know that? A cuticle? Yeah. It's the first line of defense against bacteria and things from entering the shell. It's uh, it's what covers the the breeding pores and everything. In the egg. Know. Yeah, I don't know why they decided. It's made out of keratin. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> That's I would right. guess uh, calcium carbonate or something. But I don't know. Oh my goodness! Oh, a little calcium. <laughs> a little yeah. rocket uh, fuel in there. <laughs> If I had to guess, it'd be calcium carbonate. Subcutaneous. <laughs> what did you say, subcutaneous? So coma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy thinks he's smart. What is egg cuticle made of? I use spray sealer and have a wooden owl outside my house. She's had it for five years. See? Yes. What kind of spray sealer, though? Glycoproteins with some carbohydrates. <laughs> 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 uh, really? So I'm swiping this limeade through the evergreen to give the illusion of uh, different types of blades, different, some behind, some in front.
the inside part, not the cuticle, is comprised mostly of keratin. Yeah, I know it was in there somewhere. Keratin. No, I did. Did you Google it too? No. No, he's just smart. DJ thinks he's smart also. I just guess. I was thinking Easter, bunnies, carrots. 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 It only makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. That was an ex- uh, exceptional. Speaking of eggs, have you ever done tempera painting? Uh-uh. Is that kind of archaic for you? Is that the like, powder paint? That? No, I think that's the one they mix with egg whites, right? Tempera is like school paint, but it's like powder. I know, but like when you make homemade tempera paint, it's, it's nothing but pigment. And I mean, I've dyed it. We we dye eggs at Mammal's house before e- the Saturday yeah, before Easter. <laughs> Ask Google. Ask Google. I was impressed when they came out with wax crayons to write on the eggs and then the dye wouldn't adhere to it. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah. Okay, so I've really created this grass by swiping evergreen and limeade in different spots, giving the illusion of dark and light. Again, it's blending. Well, that's the binding agent for it, is albumin. Is what? Albumin, egg albumin. Okay, now I am going to flip it back over, do her eye and her butterfly, but she's so cute, y'all. Yeah, is Isn't she adorable? It is. No, bidding starts at 30 because that's what I would sell her for. 30? Can't. <laughs> I'm going to give her a little uh, pure ocean eye. I'm just going to have three people sitting here for 45 minutes. I'm not selling to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so mean. It's, it's nice, though. Like, it looks good. Probably the only thing I've seen in a while that I would give to somebody to hang on their house. Yes, or the one not just on one. The one I did the other day was cute too. It was. Scarlet's is cute. <clears throat> Paint that white. I'm gonna do pure ocean up here and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of a black pupil in there too. If you give that to me as a gift, you trust in your thing. I've had three people sitting here for 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm not giving this away. Oh, that, was, that was so long ago. Oh. That was back to the old me. <laughs> I've changed since then, sir. $20. Which <laughs> email? It's Billy Blah. It's not. It's a B-L-A. But it spells Blah. As you can imagine, Billy Smith is a very young man. Billy Smith. So Your parents are I had, I very... The Billy Smith one. Billy Smith three. So Billy creative. Smith three, and I was like... Google was like, already done. Already done. Already done. Billy Smith, nine billion six hundred and eighty seven. <laughs> yeah, mile high, whatever. Yeah. Hmm. He looks like he has rosy cheeks. No, I did that on purpose. I know. Yeah. Getting down to it. I'm almost done. Well, I'm <laughs> I said, "Hope I saw you coming." <laughs> I was gonna show how we. That's how, the end. How we get through it. <laughs> One day you need to take the camera out there you need and a show fidget. them. You need a fidget toy. Show them a machine cutting. 
it's just I'm, I'm, uh, I'm amped up all morning, every morning, there, and I'm working, working, and I come in here and I get a little downtime, but it's just like, crash. crash. Yeah, I want to do a, just a walk through of the whole office one day. You should do it. It's nice and tidy. I mean, just go show them mm. a machine. Yeah. We have yeah, I like it. I do it during a line, one day. Mama's done. I got to add my little black to it. Come on. Right, make it pop. Make it pop. Mm-hmm. Open that shop. <laughs> Whoa. He's so cute. What's your name? Right. Right? I don't look like it. I was thinking Lily, but Rose is cute. Lily Rose, too. How do we yeah. both go for flowers? Um, probably, I don't know, it's just stringy. Lily Rose. Lily Rose. Lily Rose. My first thought was chirp, so y'all win. Chirp? CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we win. Squeak. <laughs> chirp squeaky. <laughs> Sure. Got my three, three year old name in there. Whoever marries you is not. <laughs> the creativity is just absent. Never said she would love to see Hillary make these wood pieces. More people will. I mean, I was fascinated by it for a couple minutes. When I first came. Like the uh, the CNC cutting and all that is interesting to me around. Just the design process, too. That needs to draw a little bit more. Just trying to compose it. <laughs> 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 Falling apart. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You ever get sleepy and then it gets goofy? I don't know. You started to sleep that night. Sure. <laughs> I did sleep at night. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you using for the outline? Well, I'm using right now this painter's marker because I was doing a ticker spot. Um, these are my go-tos. Painter's marker and the Sharpie oil paint pen are my go-tos. Can you see the oil paint pen after you're finished with it? I always wanted to look at that real question. I... Yeah, it's a good one. Paint. Do they make these in all colors too? I don't know. I only go for the white. This one's almost out, but that one's new, and I didn't want to get it. Oh, <laughs> here, show that one. I'm going to flip it over too on this side because that pan is still a little bit wet, and I don't want to uh, get it on my paint pen. I'm going to start with this little wing here. Something we have available on the website is the, uh, what are they called, brush stroke, brush yeah. stroke markers? Yeah. Let me tell you that when I outline these cute little things with a lot of detail, I try not to go on top of that that line that they cut in, the paint by line, because it'll make you paint on, or make you go on either side of it. So I usually go right to the right or left of it. Yeah, just along the edge, right? yeah so I don't straddle the line on there. Yeah, I mean, that's a mistake a lot of people make. It's not always a mistake, but it does have that unwanted result. Yeah, but also that unrunning result really just bothers you. It doesn't bother anyone else looking at it because it's so, uh, they're looking at it from a distance. Also, if you notice, I've anchored my arm. I'm not just free floating out here, which causes you to have wobbly lines. Always anchor your arm on a table, on yourself, on something. Okay, we'll know if there's going to be those little small eyelashes. Yes. I'm going to. Definitely do that. Yeah. If you want to buy this, our, our Sarah, um, email us. You're selling me? Yeah. Reach out for that. <laughs> Admin at build a dash prospect. First come, first serve. Make an offer. We'll see what we can get. 
I'm not quite outlining everything. I'm just giving the illusion of a point here. Love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Um, Laura said Sharpie marker runs when you spray seal uh, over them. Uh, it depends Wait on how much you're spraying. It's not an every, every time thing. Yeah, I found if you just lay it on in a mist first. Just to lock it in? Yeah. It's, it's going to be better than having a big old pool of it. So then, this one is not working well. The so it does part. act as a solvent for that particular ink. All right. Sometimes, too, a little trick I do when I use my markers down, I'll trim the top off just to get that um, bristly part out of the way. When I'm doing outlines. I'm having issues with ink today. It's not wanting. It doesn't like me. How many issues? There we go. <clears throat> Back of his head. Yeah, and Laura, it was. Not to just spray it, but spray it in mist coats until you get a thicker, you know, let it dry in between. That might be the way to go if you want to go protection. All right. Wow. She keep. That's good. <clears throat> little lily rose. Trust me, Did you pay a hundred dollars for it? Yeah. <laughs> so I would go back and use my my tiny point one for this little stuff on his mouth. A little nostril right there. Y'all want to go ahead and pick your winners? Almost done here. Yeah, we're not doing one for NC Lamb right now. What you got? All right. You love it? I love it. Y'all love it? Yeah, I love it. I'm sharing left and right. That's good. Um, today, Tammy Stern. Tammy Stern, email us at support at build-a-cross.com, and we'll get a unpainted shape like this out to you. Uh, and we'll list this on the website. Thanks so much, and Scarlett will be here tomorrow. Bye.